Hey, Bass Geek here. And everybody says, don't open up a can of worms. How about a bag of worms? All right, guys, so this is the video, the unboxing of what I actually spent my money on at the Columbus Expo. But first, I've got to talk to you about something that helps support the channel and will help you guys catch more fish. So you guys know I've been working with the Fish Life app for a long time. What we've decided to do to make it easier on me because I'm a busy guy and to make it better for you guys is really narrow it down to a package. Now this is a package that I personally update my waypoints every single month. You can either download the app, it works on iPhone, works on Android. You can actually go to the PC version just by searching Fish Life, L-Y-F-E, clicking on it, and you can actually sign in and create an account. And from there, right on the main screen, under the premium packages, you're gonna see my package, my premium package. Now, it's $20 a month, but you get 20 updated waypoints every single month on South Holston, Cherokee, and Douglas. Really the three lakes that I fish more than anything else all year long. These are the lakes that I'm on. You get my personal, and, and listen, for 20 bucks a month, I'm not gonna hold back anything. I'm giving you my best waypoints where you're guaranteed to go out and catch fish on my three truly home lakes. So we're calling it the East Tennessee Super Pack. Guys, go check it out. Like I said, you get every single month updated waypoints. We take the old waypoints off for February and we're getting ready to upload the new March waypoints. So the East Tennessee Super Pack, guys, make sure you go check it out on the Fish Life app. Now, let's get in to some unboxing. So very first, let's jump right in to literally a, uh, it, it's not really worms, but uh, just a bag of, of soft plastics here from uh, some guys that I've known for a really long time, probably ever since I've, I met them, probably at the very first Knoxville Expo I ever went to, and that's Catch em Baits. Uh, there's, they're really some great people, great guys, and they make some great baits. So let's make sure you go check them out. Like I said, everything that I'm gonna be showing you, there'll be links to in the description on where and how you can go pick them up. As always, especially down in Knoxville, the good old red bug curl tail worm is a big one. This is their catch em crawl, the watermelon. Good looking bait right here. Watermelon red, of course, one of my favorites. This is a very interesting, I don't even know how to say this, El Maraca, okay, El Maraca. Black with blue flake, so it's kind of a creature bait. Pretty neat appendages on it. Now this right here, a lot of people went crazy over. Uh, a couple years ago, I did a live stream and I showed them this. This is a Helgramite, but man, this is like a girthy, everybody take a drink, girthy Helgramite. This is a Helgramite with green pumpkin. Look how thick that thing is. Look at all the girth on that Helgramite. This is a Weed Monkey Watermelon Red. Good looking bait there, like the ridges in it. Gonna be good for flipping into some weeds. This is another Weed Monkey, and this is Red Crawl. Good looking color there. Make sure you go check them out. So now, of course, you know I was gonna pick up, you know, some, some sort of swim baits. We're going in the bag, right? Do I ever go anywhere and not pick up swim baits? Uh, picked up some of these last year. I got some smaller versions, which I'm really jacked up about, just because, you know, I've really been working with the finesse swim baits a lot here lately. And of course, I picked up some big joshies. This is a purple flash. You know, it does look like it's got a little bit of sartreuse on the neck. This is a 2.75, great size for those smallmouth. This is a clear water shad, and it is, you know, it's very translucent, something that I like a lot 
because I fish clear water. This is slush. It's kind of a white color. This is, again, purple flash. So I picked me up a couple of those. Again, the 2.75. Into the 3.25s, I picked up a few packs of these also. They always do a special run of a color for the show. And this is one of the colors, and I think this is going to be killer. This is, uh, especially on the smallmouth, this is the Dirty Monkey. And it's got a green back and a sartreuse belly. I really think that's going to be killer. 3.25s now. Again, I had to get some of the clear water shad. You can see how translucent those are. Had to pick up some of the purple flash. And last but not least, had to pick up two of the clear water shad in that size. Such a great color for some of the lakes that I like to fish in the summer. There we have it. We've picked up quite a few of the big Joshy uh, swim baits. I already actually from last year, I already picked up some of their bigger versions, which I've been playing with and really like. I had a couple of my subscribers come by and actually drop me off some stuff. And this was pretty cool. One of them, he didn't want to be on camera. He dropped me off some spool speed bearings, some high speed bearings. And this is actually for one of my swim bait rods. I'm probably going to put these in. Uh, they're for my BB1 Pro. So I'm probably going to put them in my underspin rod because I, I really, I use it more than about anything. So that underspin rod will probably be where I use this. Uh, I can't wait to try them out and see what I think about them. Now the other one is a good buddy of mine. He, he's got a YouTube channel. He doesn't have anything on it right now. He's getting ready to get back into it. Got an Instagram that he uh, uses, but he paints baits. And this is North Fork 12. You know, and I really told him, I can't believe the guy didn't have a booth down there because he does a fabulous job. This is one of the KVD. This is a deep diving series. Great looking paint job, guys. That's sexy. That gentleman is sexy. One of the deep divers. Heck of a paint job. This little bait right here, I do believe, is going to kill. I tell him all the time, I hate to throw his baits, but it's North Fork Fishing 12. Make sure you go check him out on Instagram. Again, I'll put links down there. He does a lot of painting. I can't believe he didn't have a booth himself. I, I told him over and over and over again, he should have had a booth down there to do this. The guy is an artist and I appreciate him. Thank you for coming by. It, it was an honor to get to finally meet you and finally get to hang out with you for a little while. All right, so let's move on. And one of the other things I'm gonna talk about is going to be Jinko. I love their spoons, their hair jigs, their trimmer shad. There's a lot of things that they put out there. They've got the booty shaker, just, just a ton of good stuff. I'm getting ready to order some of their prank baits. Uh, they've got some really nice deep divers that I can't wait to put into use. Uh, but one of the things that actually intrigued me were these, and these were wake baits. So they're jointed wake baits. You can tell I've got this one, had this one out because where it says wake bait, it's upside down. But this is a jointed wake bait. They're not huge. They've got two different sizes of them. And so I thought I would pick some up, you know, always going to get a bone. This is a good looking color here. This is the crappy color. Uh, I don't know exactly the length on that size, but you'll see a little bit of a difference here. Here's the, here's the bigger size. This is the groovy glide. And this is of course the bone in the bigger size. Now that has, and that I'm really interested in because it's a double jointed wake bait. So we're gonna see how tight that runs. You know me, I'm a big topwater guy and I love to throw wake baits. So something a little bit bigger, I'm pretty excited to be able to toss. That's the Jinko stuff. You guys seen a lot of the stuff that they had in their uh, booth on the last video, but really, really good looking wake baits there. Like I said, check out their big spoons. I throw them all the time. I've got some on the wall back here. Jinko makes a lot of good stuff. Their deep diving crank baits are beautiful. Let's move on to some more soft plastics. Now this is a company called Motivated and they make some really unique, I don't even know if I'd call them swim baits, but they're, they're definitely, 
a swimming style bait. It's got a nice little hook tail on it. So what I like about these is you can put them on, you know, different types of baits and use them as a trailer. And so you're gonna get some really cool action out of it. Spinner baits, buzz baits, chatter baits. You can swim them by theirself, but I picked up a couple of those and I don't see the colors on here, but that's kind of a, a red right there. You know, it's that time of year. You wanna be throwing something in red and I've got something to pair it up with here. I'll show it to you. Now this is more of a shad color, very translucent. I like that a lot. Of course, I always gotta pick up some whites especially if you're going to use these for trailers you know that shad white pattern is great now they also brought these out and what i like about these is you can do a lot of different things with them but they're also a flat bottom so these baits are great for skipping you can put them on jigs they're going to skip easy you can put them on chatter baits going to help you skip those a lot more easily you can put them on buzz baits it's going to help you keep the bait up in the water column same with a spinner bait so really neat little deal there for motivated I always got to get that blue green pumpkin blue swirl great color i don't care where you're at motivated had some really small super small finesse style buzz baits and you guys know how big of a fan i am on the finesse style buzz baits so i wanted to give these a try I picked them up that's a sartreuse blade gotta have your black blade I think in clear water, these smaller buzz baits just wreak havoc. Got your white. And of course, I picked up, this one is actually a green pumpkin. That's actually a green pumpkin blade. Pretty neat little things from Motivated. You know, it's got that little bait on there to help keep them up and a small blade. So that's going to be a really unique presentation to most of the bass around here. So something I love to keep out on my boat and something that most of us guys really need to keep and not a lot of people talk about. We talk about changing hooks, but one thing you can do is learn how to sharpen hooks. Something that I think most guys need to keep on their boat and we don't, and that's a hook sharpener. Now, this is a knife sharpener right here, but it also has a hook sharpener right here on it. And believe it or not, guys, a lot of times it's much easier and faster to sharpen that hook point than it is to change them out. So having a good hook sharpener and learning how to sharpen your hooks can really save you some time when you're on the water and maybe you don't have the best hooks on. So I picked this up because I've managed to lose mine and I really did like the knife sharpener. The knife sharpener on it was pretty incredible. So this is the Real Edge Original. This is a knife and hook sharpener. And of course, it does give you directions on the back on how to sharpen your knife, but not your hooks. And I may show you how to do that. We may do a, a short on hook sharpening. So something else I picked up because I really think this is going to do well when the bass come up shallow, especially during a spawn, that time of year. And this is from Lawless Lures. You guys have seen this. I put a short out on it. This is the booby trap. This is a nine piece assortment. And this is a bait that kind of twitches isn't the right word for it. Um, but anyway, it really is a very unique action. You guys, if you haven't seen it, go to the last video it's called the 2022 columbus fishing expo go check that out they actually show a little demonstration about it so i picked up one of these and i can't wait to actually put that to use i know exactly when i'm going to use it and that's when those small mouths are pulling up on the beds i think it's going to be a great little item if you haven't seen this buzz bait brazalo brazalo i never can get it right but anyway they make one of the neatest buzz baits and i picked up a ton of those you guys seen them in a unboxing before you guys heard them in the trip that i took with my buddy joey down to clark's hill but of course they make more than that and check this spinner bait out guys it's got the orange kicker blade and that just red blade this is called their hot crawl pattern 
So a great color right here. You remember those red trailers from Motivated? That's where they're gonna go. They also do a hot crawl in the swim jig, also the red trailers. And a great looking color right here. So those are gonna be two that are getting some use real soon, like probably later this week in one of those lakes that I'm gonna be fishing and will be on that East Tennessee uh, pack in Fish Life. So make sure you go out and subscribe to it. Yes, it is $20 a month, but you get my legitimate, legitimate. And the baits that I use, I mean, I put a good description on there. And if you guys want me to put more of a description on there, let me know if you need more details on what I'm doing. If you're paying $20 a month, I don't mind to give you the details. And it, and it helps the channel out. It helps me get to the point to where hopefully I can do this full time and give you guys even more and better information. Last but not least, you know I had to pick up some hard baits. It's that time of year. So I picked up some custom painted baits from Fox Custom. Guys, big fan of Fox. You've seen those blade baits that I plastered everywhere. They're incredible. But check this out, here's a rock crawler, and this is a really good pattern for my area, especially once we start reaching those 60 degree temps. And this is, you know, I, I kind of call it, it's, it's a green back, orange belly, but it's kind of a summer, or not a summer crawl, but a spring crawl. Then of course, they had some DT8s. So picked up some DT8s, and these are painted. Again, another good looking red. Gotta have your reds this time of year. Got another little, little variant on the red. Got another little kind of spring crawl color. Really like that color right there. Like that a lot. And then of course, had to pick up a good old shad. And that's a good natural shad pattern. Check this bad boy out. I'm trying not to break it because I'm gonna use it next week. This is from Fish Sticks. This is my new, and this is, this is kind of like one of their high-end, you know, ready-to-go series. And this is the Wicked Sticks, and I'm telling you, man, it is wicked. I mean, just look at that beautiful rod. This is my new A-Rig rod. So this is gonna replace that old Abu Garcia that I have used forever. So this is gonna be for my slightly heavier A-Rigs, a little stiffer rod, but I can't wait to get it rigged up and get it out there. And, and put it on the water. And they just do such a great job. It's beautiful, beautiful rod. And like I said, you can look up, you know, one of my favorite spinning rods is a, uh, one of their freshwater rods. Everything will be linked in the description. For you all that came out, I, I wanna say again, thank you very much. Thank you guys for the gifts, uh, you know, the Barons, the other stuff. Guys, make sure you go check out all these companies. Found some really cool stuff. And I'm sure there was a ton of great stuff there that I missed. But make sure you go check these companies out. Let them know you've seen them on Bass Geek. That always helps the channel out. And as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you, and I love baits. You guys know this. So if you got any questions, let me know. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring the bell so you know when these videos come out. Please ring that bell so you get the notifications so you can watch these videos. Watching the videos, most important thing in the world. Subscribing is nice, but I'd rather you watch than subscribe, to be honest with you. And as always, you guys, man, you guys rock. Thank you.